a very welcome to you dear to this video and um as you can see before you this is a question okay that entails us to create a market sales analysis table in microsoft excel okay so with this video in this video we will see how we can treat the first question which says create a table in excel with the data above okay this is a table okay of a company called ejomas hosted sales full stuff food stuff company and this is the product these are the products that company sells okay this is the unit cost price how much each product costs this is the unit selling price how much each product was sold and this is the quantity for each of the products okay so the first question is create a table in excel with the data above so let's just go right away to do that so looking at this um we want to first start by creating the headings this is product unit cost price unit selling price quantity so i just simply go to my excel okay and for in the meantime please leave this particular row row one empty start at a2 because we will be giving it a title later after we've created the entire table so in cell a2 i just left click on the cell there and type in my product okay the next one i go to the next cell by you know taking my mouse and left clicking on the next cell or pressing the tab key okay the tab key to go to the next cell so if i was here before if i want to use the keyboard if i press tab it takes me to the next cell so i type um unit c p okay go to the next one unit s p go to the next one and i type quantity okay quantity so we've just created the headings okay then let's just go back to the question okay it says yam beans gary rice spag egg so let's go and quickly type that yam beans yam now to go to a new cell below not to decide you press enter okay beans gary yam beans gary rice rice spark and the final one was egg egg okay so we've settled the product column okay now let's go the next one is 100 make sure you type this exact word and um, numbers okay 100 300 200 okay let's go and type that one first 100 300 press enter 200 okay go back 400 300 100 400 300 and 100 okay so we've just settled unit cost price let's go to unit selling price 150 280 200 150 280 200 470 250 120 470 250 120 
all right then we go to the next one quantity 50 80 100 quantity 50 80 100 then the next one 150 70 80 so we go to 150 70 and 80 okay so yeah we have you know created the table let me zoom in a bit so that you can see so we've gone ahead to create the table we have just answered you know the first question okay of creating a table okay create a table in excel with the data above we've just answer the first question so in the next video we will continue okay to answer the next questions we'll start to tackle the second question okay in the next video see you there